Welcome back, man. It's been Thank you. Uh, about a year, right, since we've seen you. So uh, how excited have you been to be able to finally get back in there and, and, and do what you love to do? Uh, you don't have to pick it up. I'm OK, brother. I just enjoy the moment, enjoy my, my career. So I'm here for a long time. I want to do the the good fight Friday night. I want to finish for sure. I want to beat my opponent. But I don't think about a lot of media, a lot of interviews. So it's good. It's awesome. It's unbelievable. But I'm here to fight. I'm here to enjoy the moment. So. Let's go. You were supposed to be back in uh, in July, I guess, right? And then Sydney dropped out. Then you had to put things on hold for a little bit. This is a little bit different of an opponent, I guess, on paper than, than what he was going to bring to the table. So how much did you, I guess, change in your in your preparation from what you had gotten ready for for Sydney Outlaw versus what you had to do to get ready for this one? Yes, I don't, don't change too much because when before, when they're gonna be fight against uh, Sydney, I'm training a lot of wrestling. So now, just put some strikes, some kicks. Put the the tall guy to train with me. So Kennedy, Kennedy Monday train. He helped me a lot in wrestling. Arthur from Brazil. He's a tough guy, he's kicked very well, his, his jiu-jitsu is it's very dangerous. And Kenny Monday, I believe a lot of people from America know he's a, his father. Kenny Monday is good medalist. And Olympic wrestling. champion. Olympic champion, silver medalist, Olympic champion. So I make a good camp to do to, to fight Friday night. When, uh, when Bellator called you and said, all right, this is what the matchup is going to be, were you okay with that? I mean, this, he's only he's been here just a pretty short amount of time in, in Bellator, so were you okay with that as your first title uh, yeah. defense? Yes, when Bellator saying, hey, you will fight against this guy, so I just say, okay, send me where, let me know it's going to be happen. And that's it. Uh, how great has it been? To I never know? just, yeah. I never say no. I want to change my opponent. Never. Sometimes, uh, com, como é que fala? Uh, uma luta caiu e eu fico pedindo aí, me coloca, me coloca. Sometimes when fighters fell off from a uh, fight date, he would call in and say, put me in, put me in, coach. I say to Bellator to put me to fight a lot of times, but don't have too much. Your brother's last uh, fight was less than two months ago. So, I mean, how nice has it been to be with him as he got ready for that fight and then he wrapped up and I, I'm assuming maybe he took a little bit of a breather, but then he just moves right into to helping you get ready for this one. Come again. Que é a luta de Patrício foi dois meses atrás, você ajudou ele para isso e agora ele está no jurado, você fala sobre isso. Eu help my brother all the time when he will fight. He gonna fight. At just the corner. Don't train too much. I'm training with him. This, this last camp just rest and you hit some strike because sometimes it's a bit hard and he wanna change. <laughs> he wanna beat me hard, so it's no, no good for me for him because we are very competitive. So it's like a far work at the train. Sometimes a lot of times, no, sometimes the time is over and the coach need to go to separate. Separate. Guys. So. <laughs>
They can't train together too much. It's, li it's like a two pit bulls. Two pit bulls. It's normal. Uh, you're the underdog in this fight, which does not happen very often. Um, I guess tell us where the odds makers are getting it wrong then and why you should be the favorite. I mean, why should this thing be flipped around? I like, to, I like to prove the, everybody's wrong. When I came to Bellato, it was the same for a long time, long years, a lot of years. I, I was the underdog, so I don't get this. I joy, I, it motivates me, so I want to prove the, the people is wrong. It mot motivates me a lot. I love this. Thank you, man. You're welcome. Oh, we do. Uh, Rumble Johnson died a few days ago, and you know he was a Bellator fighter. Uh, what, what can you say about his legacy that he's leaving behind in the sport? Yes, I I watching Rumble for many fights. He's I love his style because he's very dangerous. He was very dangerous, explosive like me, dangerous like me. And I believe humble like me. So just rip. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. He he were he he was a good fight. He need to he 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 matters. He he deserve to lembrado. He, he, he should be honored. Mm -hmm. And on, on a lighter note, uh, how are you going to be celebrating with the team afterwards? Chicago pizza? Like, uh, what, what's the idea going to be after the fight? Uh, uh, I don't know, but I love the Chicago pizza. It's very, very different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the last time when my brother, the first time when I came here, now is the second time I come here. The first time we eat a pizza from here, sure. So we buy like a five, six pizza and we eat just two or three. It's crazy because it's a lot of pizza. <laughs> we, we love pizza. I think everybody loves pizza. But to eat one, bit, one pizza, he's, we need to be a crazy guy to eat a lot. So let's enjoy again. Mm -hmm. And uh, Captain Eric, a question for you. Uh, how's this fight going to go down then? Wow, I think it's uh, a battle of the game plans. Fowler's plan versus Pitbull's plan. And, you know, two of the best MMA families. You got the Pitbull brothers, the first uh, simultaneous world champions in history to be world champions at the same time. Uh, such a tough task to do. Um, took 11 years for him to do it. Most people don't even last in this game, in Bellator for 11 fights. And uh, you know, he just shows the persistence of Pitbull uh, 11 years to, to, to make it happen and he never gave up. And that's <clears throat> the kind of, uh, history that we're going to take into this fight November 18th. Pitbull Brothers versus the Nuremagomedovs. It's, you know, uh, we have to conquer a family that's never been conquered. It's like Game of Thrones. And I believe that Patricky Pitbull is the one to do it. He's the one to give them the Nuremagomedov family their first loss. Uh, Brazil versus Dagestan. Uh, Operation Green Dagger commences November 18th. Awesome, thank you. Where do you get the sunglasses, Captain? <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing. One Monarchy, Las Vegas. All right. <laughs> and for Pitbull, uh, Usman, you know, a great opponent, obviously. Still a young, undefeated guy. I'm curious when you look at him and break him down a little bit, when you match up your styles, where do you think he's most dangerous? Ah, I don't know. I, I'm not sure, but his strike is uh, different from all the, the Russian, the, his team. 
the strike, he, he, he looked like uh, he loved to be a striker. Sometimes he tried to, to do wrestling, but I don't believe, I don't know, I don't believe he, he loved too much wrestling. I believe he, he loved to be a striker because he's a tough, he's a tall guy. He make a good distance, he kick very well, he punches very well, so I believe this. If he is gonna be the, the same size from the, the another guys, I believe he is a, to do a wrestler, but he's, he's tall. I, I believe he's gonna wrestle. But after um, Tofi defeated Sydney Outlaw in that last fight, a lot of people thought maybe he'd get the title shot instead. But obviously going to Usman, I'm just curious. Like, do you want to rematch Tofi at some point? You know, if things work out that way. Yeah, yeah, sure. Tofi is a tough opponent. I believe the Bellator need to put. Uh, good fighters to f fight against, like a uh, Tofik against Chambre or Tofik against somebody. Don't put like Uzma fight nobody. I know Uzma is a good fighter. He's a tough opponent, I sure, but he have a four fight in Bellator, but it. He just fight against the last guy. He's a he's a tough opponent. Was very very fast, but just one fight. Three guys was he beat his ass out. I love to Bellator to make he make do this with me or my brother. <laughs> never this happened for a long time. Never, never. Just tough opponents to the first fight for now. W first fight was a WEC champ. Yes, my first fight was Rob Hazel McCool. He's a former champ for WEC, WEC. So nobody como é que João jogou para mim uma presa fácil. Nobody gave me a, a present like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, speaking of uh, your fight that you did have with Tofik, was over in Japan for Ryzen, obviously, and now your brother's going to compete over there too at the end of the year. Uh, I just want to, you know, ask like, how was that experience for you? Was it fun to get to go and do that? And you know, maybe you hope to go fight in Japan again someday if something opens up like this. Uh, when they start to train MMA. No MMA, like a freestyle. I watch a lot of pride. So I try to train like this, kick the head, jump and try to kick the head. Just kick the head. <laughs> <laughs> so for me and for my brother, it's dream maker true. He, he's very happy now. He say to me, now I realize my dream. And, and he say another another thing. I believe nobody know. He wanna he wanna fight in Dublin too. He say Dublin is crazy. I wanna fight there. I love, I enjoy the moment. So I believe in Balaton need to put my brother to fight there because I know the the Irish guys love the this fight. My brother enjoyed the moment. It's gonna be awesome. Patricky, um this is obviously you've been eleven years in, in the MMA game for the Bellator. Um, now this is your championship fight. The Dagestan fighters have had so much success in the past that we've seen them dominating other promotions. Is there a certain formula or something you worked on different in camp in this training camp than in the past to prepare for Usman? Come on, yeah. Uh, well, I don't know if those guys did Dagestan. Much success. 
sacrificios en cual, como un plano es diferente para vencer ese, ese plano. Don't have a, a lot of things to, to do. Just train hard every day. Doesn't matter what has happened. If your mind is crazy, if your body is broken, doesn't matter. Go to the gym, train hard every day. It's the same like he chose this guy to do. Train every day. It's the former. Just train every day. Hard. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what has happened. Doesn't matter if you have a problem with your family, if your life, doesn't matter. Go to the gym and train very hard. That's it. This is the form to, to beat this guy. Very different things make a big dream, big fighters. You're welcome. Ricky, yeah. last time I saw you, you were eating raw liver at an ungodly pace, taking on Paulo Costa and the Liver King himself in a liver eating competition. You poured some secret juice on it. Did you get strong in jacket after that competition? Como é que é? Você jogou um molho de secret juice em cima com o filho do suco. Você está mais forte agora. Yes, yes. <laughs> After I, I'm eating, I'm eating liver. I don't know, brother. I'm training one hour and a half with a lot of energy with against two tough guys from wrestling. So it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. It was crazy. I ate a lot of. I never, I never do this. I love big challenge. I love different challenge, different adrenaline. So it was awesome. You beat Paulo, that was good. Yes, he's was a big guy, but I beat him yeah. very easy. <laughs> <laughs> so Captain nicknamed Zeng Wiley the Great Spoil of China, and she used her wrestling defense to win back her world title. What, I know you spoke a little bit about the wrestling, but what have you done to work on wrestling with Captain for the Dagestani Ramago Medal? Como é que é? Ele falou que semana passada o Weili ganhou um bom sprawl, o maior sprawl do China. Ah, okay. você, como você treinou o resto da temporada para a Yamaha? Ah, eu tenho uma... Eu tenho uma crazy coach <laughs> from wrestling. Ele tem muitas ideias, ele me ajudou muito por muito tempo. He tried to help me every fight. Every time he came with the different ideas, different guys to help me, me and my brother. Now he give me a one tough, one tough guy to train. Kennedy Monday. Boris. Boris Barbarian. Boris Novakov. Boris Novakov is a crazy guy and tough opponent. Ah, this guy is amazing, brother. I on the wrestler come to my city to, to train with me and feel some movement. Eles se sentem, como é que se diz? Às vezes um pouco espantado com o que eu sei. Eles acham que eu não sei muito e acaba sendo quedado ou surpreendido. He thinks I don't know wrestling, but then after uh, after I wrestle with his guys, he gets impressed. <laughs> he, I, I show him something by surprise. Patricky, I know you're fully focused on the match up ahead this Friday night with Usman Nurmagomedov, but I gotta ask, you will be in this lightweight Grand, lightweight Grand Prix in January. AJ McKee will likely be in that Grand Prix with you. Do you welcome that matchup? Would you like to see AJ McKee down the line and meet him in the cage? Hey, I say for everyone, everybody asks me about this. Doesn't matter who's coming. 
like I said before. But if Bellator put me against him, uh, I hear something, Bellator has come to Brazil. I want to fight against him in Brazil, probably in my city. I want to see how he'll feel when he have a lot of pressure, like he fought in his Sital. I want to I wanna see the difference. He can't sleep there. Mm -hmm. I'm, I, I believe. Believe me. Believe me. He can't sleep there. He can't walk on the street. I will put a lot of pressure in his mind in Brazil. If the Bellator come to Natal, let's see what's happened. He talked too much. He's a joke. He like to, to, to be a joke. When he go up to my weight class, he say, hey, Pitbull, you, are, you don't deserve this belt. He's a, I want to kick your ass, blah, 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 blah. But the Bellator put him against the Shambly, the name from Shabili. Shabili. And the, he run. Come on, brother. You are a tough opponent or just a joke guy? You are fight or just want to play with the media, the camera, make a, make a do videos fun? Or put like a crazy jacket, crazy hey, sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs>